Hello everyone, today I will be showing you some activities that you can try with these Montessori beads. And I created these Montessori beads at home using supplies from Home Depot and from my local arts and crafts store. I will put a link on the description box of the video so that if you are interested, you can create your own as well. So today I will be showing you activities that teach children number quantity, patterns, addition, number order, and multiplication. So let's start off with number quantity. So let's say we have these two number quantities that you want the child to start off sorting. So you may want to have the child count the beads. One, two, three. Where's three? Three. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, three. And you may want to have a lot of beads here and have them sort um, these two categories. When the child has gotten better, you may want to take all of the beads out here and have them sort them into these slots. Okay, another activity you can do is patterns. You can teach patterns very easily with these beads. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. What comes next? Blue, and you may want to continue on and on until you have finished the pattern. Here we have uh, purple, white, white, purple, white, white. What comes next? And then you have the child put. And continue with all of the beads until they have used all of the beads here to create the pattern. Another activity that you may want to do is skip counting. So you may want to skip count by twos. Here I have these uh, arrows that are laminated and I have used a dry erase marker to write little numbers on there. Uh, you can get these for free on my blog as well. So you may want to have the child start counting. One, two. You want to have them place it right at the end. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and go on and on until they've reached twenty. And then you may want to have them skip count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, and so on. Okay. And when the child is finished working with the beads, you want to encourage them to put them back where they belong. Another activity is, I have these number cards here, and you want to have the child put these number cards in order. So this is good number order practice. Zero, one, two, and I've used some of them here. So three, you can get these number cards on my blog for free. Four, five, six and so on. You can get all the way up to ten. And uh, then you want the child to put the beads right next to the quantities. And this is good so that the child starts associating that the number is associated to an actual quantity. Zero. That's none. Then one, two, three, Four, five, six, and so on. It can go all the way up to ten. And this is good for two reasons number order and also number quantity. Okay. Another concept that you can start teaching is addition. And you want to start off easy. So, I want to start off with, let's say, one. One bead. If you could stay there, little bead. One plus two. What's one plus two? Let's find out. One, two, three. One plus two is three. And you want to give them different problems until they understand uh, the concept of addition. Once they have mastered this, you can move on to having index cards, and they can work independently on this. These are laminated index cards. Here we have one plus two. One plus two. What's one plus two? One, two, three. One plus two is three, and they would write it out. Or if they cannot write yet, you can have them put a number card here. Okay, and they can go on and on doing these number problems, these, these addition problems. 
And uh, this is a great way to do independent work and have them work with these beads. Something else you could do is you could have them create a, a bead stair. This is uh, good for a number order as well. The child would line up the beads from 1 through 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And once they have done that, you can have them do a worksheet like this one. This is Color the Beats There. And you can get this one for free on my blog. And the child would then use this bead stair that they've created and color the beads here. here. So the first one here would be red. Then this one would be green. This would be pink. This would be yellow and so on until they have completed the bead stair. And I will put a link on, my, on the description box where you can find uh, these resources. I, ho I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope that uh, you create your own uh, Montessori beads. I just shown you some of the activities that you can try. I hope it was helpful. For more educational toys and activities, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.